Are you scared yet, Eric Strong? Well, I'm I'm sad because the composer never intended his music to be <laughs> creepy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole here. Are you listening to Home Wizards, where we love to help you improve your home and improve your life, and that just might mean uh, scaring the bejesus out of you. That's right. Because it is Halloween season, and we're surrounded by a lot of folks who have fun uh, with Halloween, and who doesn't? And Stephen Cometa is one of them. He has a serious haunt. I mean, this is a club, a society, if you will. Yeah. Who are they're very serious. It's a society of scary guys. California haunts, and they're right. very serious about helping each other with the latest props and supplies and and gizmos and ways to to be really serious about Halloween, so that you and I, when we go to these homes and and front yards, can just be frightened to death. So Stephen Cometa, his is the house on Frankel Street, and this year has a new theme, a new. Wait, twist. wait, wait, wait! You're doing that haunted I'm whisper sorry. talking that, again. That was my EVP. Okay. <laughs> scary. Yeah. Anyway, so Stephen, welcome back to the Thank show. You. Good having you again. Thank you very much. Talk about House on Frankel Street and how this is a nautical theme, but it's not pirates. Right. It's sailors. Right. Yeah. Actually, this year we uh, we decided to switch it up a little bit and uh, try to go to a, a theme that's usually not hit on much by, by haunted houses, except for the Queen Mary a little bit. Um, we decided to do uh, more like a fishing port. We're trying to stay away from pirates. You know, there's been a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, Johnny Depp. A lot of Johnny Depp, Pirates <laughs> of the Caribbean, stuff like wait, that. Wait, wait, are you doing scary bass fishing? <laughs> yeah, actually, doing? absolutely. No, definitely. I mean, I'm talking wow. about I'm talking about your waders and your and your bobbers oh, and your okay. the real fishermen out there yeah, that probably feel offended right. by all this pirate stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but this started because your wife wanted to wanted to wear her own, you know, the costume that I didn't dictate, you know three or four months ahead for her so you know during during fourth of july she's like you know what i'd really like to wear you know a costume that i want to wear and i'm like all right well you know what do you want to wear and she's like, oh, sailor outfit all right well, we can do that so we just kind of uh we kind of did our whole our whole uh, planning around a sailor outfit and we ended up with port 13 wow that's well, give, give us the virtual tour without spoiling. We walk on the property. Where are we in the front wait, yard? wait i wait i have to backtrack so Pantry. in past years you've simply said honey this year you will be a chicken, and then she would just be a chicken, and, it, and that's what, how it was. Right? Yeah, absolutely. And now she has her own point of view. Exactly. Well, I this mean, is good news. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's Doctor Stromer <laughs> coming <laughs> in. Just... <laughs> um, yeah, no. So you know, as you walk on the property, um, you know, you get yourself in the line, and then you walk. You you go through some corridors going into the haunt, and it's it's very subtle. It's very um, you know, sounds of waves crashing, and and you know, fog horns, and you've got the blues and the greens. Mm. Mm. Exactly, uh-huh. um, and then you make your you know make your way into the shipping and receiving uh, area of the you know of the port, and that's where things start to go awry. And uh, it's, oh no, right? So you got it always it always starts with it's, it's kind of <laughs> gentle and nice, and then something goes awry. Right? Yeah. And so you have does. actors or or friends who we are do. dressed up in in these different sailor outfits. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Everyone's kind of taken on their own their own role. And actually, uh, the haunted fishing port's kind of a really good palette for all of our friends to do their own thing. I mean, you know, usually we're like, all right, last year you're gonna be a prisoner in this haunted prison. But this year it's kind of like, you know, be a fisherman, but be your own fisherman and, you know, be you know, make it what you want it to be. And we've got a lot of like great creativity from our, our cast. Are, are there like uh, shipwreck guys or any, any of that stuff? Well there's there's definitely people that have, have been abandoned from their boat Boats and there's people, you know, people that are waiting out in the ocean, you know, or you know, out on the beach by themselves. And then is there a scary mandolin playing coconut bra guy? There's not, but maybe that's something that's we, for next year. <laughs> that, that's next year. <laughs> well, when you think of when you think of nautical, I mean, when you mention the Queen Mary, you think of shipwrecks, you think right. of hauntings at sea, and so are you right. kind of weaving in that plot because you've written a script for this, right? There's right. a story. Yeah, right. There's basically, I mean, it's it's not as detailed as we've had in the past, you know, with with a storyline with you know any like characters or anything, but we basically do have, um, you know, it was once a very thriving fishing port, and you know there was lots of you know you know a lot of economic activity, and then you know something from you know something in the water started changing the you know the the staff of of this fishing port all the fishermen and the and the dock workers and you know it's kind of become what it is today which is an abandoned you know fishing port where you've got you know you've got 
m- mutated fishermen and people that Ew. are half man, half fish. Ooh, so that's kind of creepy. Are you a filmmaker as well? No, no, not at all. Actually, I'm a law student. <laughs> <laughs> wow, because I think this could be a great career for you. Well, yep. there's a lot of uh, artsy film effects guys and gals who are in this whole yes, thing, right? Yeah, absolutely. And when you go to these society meetings, you kind of share information, right? And intel and how to do right. it. Right, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I particularly actually am not part of Calhoun. Um, uh-huh. I'm actually part of a lar- larger organization, uh, the um, National it- Haunted Attraction Association. Okay. Um, but it's, it's still more, a group where everyone right. shares. So basically everyone meets up, you know, you share information, you, you know, you'll have like, you know, a time where everyone brings, you know, parts and then you basically make and take something home. Not body you know. parts. No, well, sometimes, <laughs> but maybe not real ones. But yeah. yeah, no, it's very, it's, it's great. It's a good, it's a good opportunity for everyone to get together and share their knowledge. And then it really just benefits everyone's own haunt. And it's not a competition. It's more of just a, a wealth of information. So it's almost like become. an art, art community where everybody appreciates sure. what the other person is Absolutely. doing. Absolutely. Everyone wants to get better, and yeah, like you say, there's a competition, but it's a friendly one because you want to go, wow, right. and everyone's cheering you on, right? right? No, I mean, it's there's been very little times where we've you know been like, oh, man, we don't really like you guys because you're in direct competition with us. It's it's not like that. I mean, everyone has their own niche. Everyone has their own thing, and you know that's, that's what makes it great because it's not all the same thing. It's not like, you know, I'm going to go to another haunted house and see the exact same things that ours has. They're going to have a lot of great ideas that I can use for mine and then vice versa they can use for theirs. So then how do you how do you guys promote this event? Um, well, we've we've got our our Facebook and our website, um, and then we also just try to get out here and you know talk to folks like you. And we also just go out into the community and we give out our our flyers to Halloween stores to pass out. A lot of school kids and around the neighborhood really love you know love it, and it gets passed down from year to year with those. So kids. every year we know that you have this brandable idea that's going to change and be creative and new and it's different each time. Right. right. You know, everyone knows horror on Franco Street, but no one I knows see. what the theme is we get a lot of you know grumblings going on you know at at the beginning of the summer you know from these school kids that are like you know what's the theme going to be this year that's fun that's great great, yeah so this is in lakewood yes and i love that you're a law student i mean this is talk about a way to de-stress right yes (laughs) to kind of forget about everything in the past couple weeks it's actually been a way to add a lot of stress but (laughs) well but but, but yeah for the most part it's it's good stress you know it's it's great to do something that that gets your mind off of the books and you know get your mind out of you know out of the courtroom and you know into the haunted house which is well how do you, as as a, an expert haunter, uh, discover what's going to really just scare us to death? I mean, because you want to take us to that to that edge. You know, it's a lot of trial and error. I mean, a lot of times we try new things each year. You know, we we see what our audience likes. This year, we're we're you know delving into the the compressed air and doing air blasts at people's legs. Ooh. And you know that might work, it might not. And then if that works, we'll we'll push it on. But there have been in the past things that just didn't work, and some things that worked. What way was more the most it was abysmal failure where everyone thought it was going to be great and it was just awful. Mm. I think like touching people with feathers or touching yeah, people no. with strings, <laughs> it, it, just, it's, it, it did more harm than good. People get freaked out and yeah. run into walls right. or, you know, what have you. It was just, it was bad times. But the best thing has been what? Uh, the best thing's probably been... Um, it sounds kind of basic. It's been like our strobe light usage. Like yeah. a lot of haunts these days, they try to stay away from strobe That's lights. That's kind of old school, isn't it? It is. It, you know, they they think it's kind of like a dead a dead trick. You know, you're tricking the eyes. But especially this year's haunt, a lot of our lighting is meant to trick trick your vision. And you know, not necessarily have someone pop out from behind a wall, but have someone in a room that you they're there, you just can't see them. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And do the neighbors like what you're doing? Because you hear about some of the haunts that have to close because the neighbors, I mean, there's a big crowd that shows up sometimes. You yeah, know? you know, we've gotten really lucky. You know, we've we've seen a lot of other haunts around our neighborhood get shut down because their neighbors weren't, uh, you know, weren't approving it. But, you know, we have a bunch of neighbors that, you feed you know, them. Feed the neighbors. Right, absolutely. <laughs> you know, they get really excited. You know, they're with all the school kids that are wanting to know what our next theme is going to be. That's great. In. See, but, it can be a good but community it's, But thing. it's always the same location. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, always, okay. it's always at my okay. house. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell people how to to find out more about what opens tonight. Yeah, absolutely. The House on Frankel. Yeah, so you can go to uh, www.horroronfrankelstreet.com. Um, you can also just type that into um, into Facebook or Google, and it'll come up. Uh, and if you're looking to come down, we are in Lakewood, right near Long Beach, right off of the 91 freeway at Paramount. Uh, but we do have on our website, we have our address, and you can just plug that into any It's uh, F-R-A-N-K-E-L or L-E? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and okay. will you, Stephen, be among those dressed up? 
I will as not. As a scary as fisherman? Far as, no? as far as I know, I won't. Uh, in the past couple of years, we've had some some staff uh, some staff that weren't able to come, and I've had to, uh, on a whim, jump in and do it. But this year, it looks like I will and, be able and to. And I'm going to have to stop you right here because it. don't come at me with that feather. It's not <laughs> scaring me at all. <laughs> Absolutely. Stephen Kometa, great having you. Horror you. on Frankel Street. Uh, and uh, congratulations to more success. And we'll, we'll check you out on Facebook. Thank you And we'll very find much. your website. And all good right. luck with law school. Good luck oh, tonight. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Oh, that, that law thing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, well, coming up next, Hour 2, we segue into more fun with these folks who really have a good time making Halloween just great. Yeah. You know, I mean, not just, well, a few lights. I'm so it. excited to try the whole uh, the whole thing with the feather on my kids. You're going to do the feather. They'll just glare at me and say, get out. Yeah, that <laughs> sucks. <laughs> We're going to learn some more tricks and, and, uh, and treats to how you can do this uh, with your own front yard or side yard. Coming up next, Home Wizards, Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole. Don't you go away. We're getting started here on KFWB News Talk 980.